Good morning everyone or whatever time it is in your place right now. I'm Florian Rugola and this is Beats Bustle and today we are looking at Foley soft footsteps because it is way too expensive. Look at this. It costs $130 just for basically a sampler that plays back a bunch of feed samples. So if you are into feed, you should watch this video apparently because we are going to talk about feed and you can get more feed on my OnlyFans if you subscribe. But for now we are talking about Foley soft footsteps, the great innovation in the world of feed because you can play back feed and the feed can be on different surfaces and also with different kinds of shoes and even no shoes at all. So if you want to make soft porn you can do that with Foley soft footsteps. I don't know what the difference is between the cloth section and the material choosing thing down here but okay. I won't buy this plugin. I also won't download a demo if there even is one. I don't think there is. So people are basically just forced to believe the testimonials. Foley Soft Footsteps gave me the speed and sonic options I needed for a couple of indie films. I like its workflow and I will be using it a lot more for sure. Okay, so there is an argument for speed definitely because if you didn't have this plugin as someone who is producing films, then you would have to like always go out and record something or find a fitting sample on the internet. As a filmmaker that wears many hats, photos of footsteps is a great tool. Yeah, so wearing many hats means that there are a lot of different combinations possible in the plugin and that's true. That is definitely true. I was watching this video, which is the tutorial on how to use Foley footsteps a little bit earlier already. Here is a quick tutorial to tackle several actors walking with Foley soft footsteps. This so in this video the AI voice of the tutorial describes how you have to play the footsteps with your MIDI keyboard or apparently an iPad while watching the video footage and just focusing on one dude then recording the same thing for the other dude and the other dude has a different type of shoe which is why there is flexibility and stuff and at the end they are also layering it with a lot of other ambient noises. Some just wind. And the result is, I don't know, I think it still sounds a little bit unrealistic, but okay, let's be fair. This is just a tutorial video and sometimes developers are not the best at using their own plugins themselves. I'm an offender of that myself. But still, this begs the question if there is an easier way to get these sounds. Because, I mean, as a musician, I will totally never spend $130 on something like this. I would maybe spend... Um, 10 euro for a sample pack, maybe. And I think this should be a sample pack and not a plug-in. The equalizer, the compressor and the reverb just really doesn't belong in here. It has nothing to do with what this sounds needs, especially not the reverb. That is an outside scene and there is not like reverb going on. I don't know, this just shouldn't be needed. If the filmmaker wants to add these, they could add their own effects for that. So basically it is really just about loudness, adjusting a bunch of feet to each other and selecting the materials. So this is freesound.org, a very old website. It was founded by students. If I understood that right, they just wanted to make a little website that is kind of a proof of concept thing that you can have a place where you host interesting sounds and it just grew into something that tries to fulfill everyone's needs for sound nowadays. And there I will just type in walking and see what kind of stuff I am given. So here we have someone walking on gravel. We couldn't have used it here because gravel is very soft compared to stone. Okay, this is someone walking slowly on something that sounds very metallic. Would also not fit to this. Gravel would be less bad actually. This sounds like the dude who recorded this had his microphone tied up to some sort of cord, letting it hang down while he was walking and it, you know, scratches the surface sometimes, tick, tick, tar, tick, 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 bouncing up and down. Not a very usable sound. I don't have an idea what that has to do with walking because you can basically just hear the forest. Contact microphone recording of people walking over an old steel railway bridge. Very specific. This is probably a nice clap sample when you edit it a little bit. Okay, another gravel kind of thing. 
Now this is actually a really cool sample in my opinion. That's definitely something that you couldn't get with fully soft footsteps because like what would you what would the material even be? It is kind of wooden but at the same time it is not any kind of wood but the one that is used on stairs which always has these crackling noises all over the place and would it even matter anymore which kind of shoes you use on that because like the prominent part of the sound is actually the stairs for something like that you would just have to use a real sample and it's actually something that i could see being used quite often in films because someone walking on chairs is always a scene that describes that something new is about to happen because a new place is being approached that's why i think a sample like that could be very useful for many people Okay, walking on snow. Do we have snow as a material here? No, so we don't have all of the materials that could occur. And I think recording snow is even harder than recording grass, where you just have to go two meters outside if you have a microphone for that. Because you know, when a plugin costs $130, it assumes that it is not quite easy to record that. And all the time we are already assuming that you have to go on freesound.org to get the samples. But it's actually much more likely that you just pull out your own microphone, go outside and let's go. But it wouldn't work for snow. For snow, something like this plug-in would actually make sense, but there is no snow option. Okay, interesting, walking on snow, but it's also kind of frozen to ice. So there is some sort of transitional state on the material that is just not really the case here. Like, what would that even be? A carpet that also has some grass over it or what? Or, or metal where sometimes there are planks of wood laying on top of it so that there is some resonating rattle also um, that would be kind of cool and it would maybe justify this plug-in finally there is one point in the video where the voice talks about the fact that in this scene specifically you don't have to use panning because they are filmed from the front but that made me think what if there is a scene that needs panning? In that case, it would be cool if the plugin could handle the panning because that is actually something that you would, um, you know, maybe need in the context of making a film. But then again, this pan knob is not a binaural panner, so you cannot put it like anywhere in the room you want. And thinking about it, I think a binaural panner is basically the first effect that any filmmaker would buy anyway. So they definitely already have one because otherwise how would you like position things, right? Oh, interesting. Walking in leaves. That's very nice and granular sounding. I like that. Okay, walking on the carpet. Interesting because we also have a carpet here that makes sense, but the style of walking is different. Instead of making like um, concrete footstep sounds with a clear impact, the person is sliding across the floor, which is definitely something that you cannot do here because this is not physically modeling the sound of feet. Actually, that would kind of justify the price. If it was physical modeling, that would be kind of cool because you could tweak the material and the shoes and everything with parameters that are a little bit more different than do you want this shoe or do you want this shoe? Like, that is so boring. It's maybe not... It, uh, filmmakers probably don't care if it's boring, but I do. And, um, and I'm also not the target group of this plugin, which is why when I make fun of it, that's totally fine, because that still doesn't mean that other people can't have fun with it. Maybe these testimonials down here are even true. Maybe these plugin, maybe these people really exist, and maybe they really said these things, and maybe they really meant them. I don't know. Could be. I just have to say, from my personal perspective this price is just super ridiculous i want to talk about something different though something that is also relevant for the people who actually need this plugin which is the fact that it uses round robin to make sure that the samples are always a little bit different when they are being played back again sometimes your performance will be close enough and sometimes you will need to go back to the midi track and tweak okay um, the problem with this is that if you cannot even be sure which sample is being played at which exact moment in time, how can you even edit those MIDI notes so that they will definitely always fit? Because if we look at an individual step sample like this one, we can see that like the biggest impact is not the first thing that happens, but sometimes there is a little bit of something before, like in Kotang or so. 
and and that's totally fine that's just how it sounds when you step on something but if the MIDI note triggers when the sample is being started and not when the impact happens then how can you be sure that the impact part will always be at the correct spot when you replay it and it will choose a different set of samples this time because it's round robin and round robin does that the answer is there is no way the only way to really be sure that the things that you added in your software work the way you want is if you bounce them out to audio but when you bounce something like this to audio you don't have the MIDI workflows anymore you can shift the notes around anymore so you have to cut the samples into pieces and manually move those audio samples around and I want you to notice at this point that this shows that this plugin should rather be a sample pack than a plugin because if you have to move around samples to get it to work anyway then why aren't you just doing it with samples in the first place like you could just skip this whole MIDI step instead you could have a workflow where you just put the playhead exactly on those frames where you can see the impact of the food and then you drag the next sample from your sample browser into the project and place it so that the impact is perfectly lining up with that specific frame and you have to tweak stuff anyway if you play it with MIDI so why not just drag it in and make it precise immediately? It's not that it's taking very long to do that. It's actually probably faster. So basically, I respect the developers for having recorded all of these different shoes on all of these different materials in a lot of different ways so that it feels somewhat realistic in a film. And I believe that some people use this plugin to get started with their uh, foley's, with their uh, footstep foley's. But I don't think that this should be a plugin. I think this should be a sample pack and it would be even better. The only problem is if it was a sample pack, people would definitely not pay $130 for it. Because when something is a piece of software, it always looks a little bit more important.